I'm Andy Kershaw and my autobiography is called No Off Switch. Going to Leeds University changed my life. Leeds University was a big venue full stop. It was routine for us to have all the big groups of the time. The Hoot in 1970, the Rolling Stones in March 71, Bob Marley and the Whalers played two shows in one night in there. And I was the custodian of a legacy which had been handed to me by people who'd put Leeds University on the map as a legendary venue. And I had to keep up some standards. And I think we got away with it. I'm very often asked, what's the greatest gig you've ever seen? I can't tell you. Because I saw a lot of the greats, Bruce Springsteen and the E Street Band, Bob Marley and the Whalers, Johnny Cash at Glastonbury in 1984, and I had to bring him on at Glastonbury, full, full story of that in the book as well. Thursday, January the 31st, Leeds University Refectory, and it was The Clash, one of the greatest rock and roll gigs uh, I ever saw. God, they were tremendous that night. My TV career began completely by accident. I had no ambitions to be on television at all. And to start with, I was presenting The Whistle Test, and a couple of chapters and entirely about that experience in the book and about what m massive fun it was. Live Aid was um, produced by the Whistle Test production team. Trevor said to me one day, Andy, I need you to make a weekend clear in your diary in, in July. Can you just keep the Saturday free? And that was it. I was, I was booked for Live Aid. If you read the book, I do seem to stumble from one moment or period of huge good fortune straight into another. After the sheer good fortune of becoming a Radio 1 DJ, accidentally, the main component of huge good fortune was to have been posted to the legendary room 318, which I shared with John Peel and John Walters. What great teachers. Lots of people express surprise that I made an apparent career leap from Radio DJ into foreign correspondence. But it didn't surprise me because I'd always been the instinctive journalist and the amateur historian. For me, it's mainly that I witnessed the history thing. And it is a privilege to be able to see world shattering events.